Hello, um, I'm John Heritage, Senior Lecturer in Bacteriology at the University of Leeds. Uh, today I thought I'd like to show you how we visualise bacteria, which are very, very small and require uh, a microscope to have a look at. And they're also not coloured, so we have to colour them up. And to do this, we're going to use what's known as the Gram stain. First of all, we need to put uh, a little drop of water onto a slide. Uh, making sure that we use aseptic technique. So notice that I've flamed the top of the bottle and I've put the lid back on. And a small drop in the centre of the slide that we're going to inoculate. We then take a very tiny amount of bacteria from a culture and spread it out into the drop of water. It's very important that you don't take too many bacteria and that you spread them out over a wide area. This is probably the most boring bit of a gram film because you need to make sure that the water in which they're suspended has completely dissipated uh, and you don't want too many bacteria clumping up. Um, I tend to use the area of about a postage stamp. That works pretty well, um, but they must be really really dry before we proceed to the next step, uh, which is to fix them onto the slide. Um, if you're getting a bit bored, you can hold them in the top end of a Bunsen burner flame. Uh, that heats up, but not too harshly, the bacteria. But if you don't make sure that at this step they are dried out, then what will happen is when you heat fix them, the cells will boil onto the slide and they'll become disrupted. So I'm afraid this is terribly boring um, and what you really want is a potter's wheel or a kitten playing with a ball of string. Um, short of that, you'll have to do with me waiting for the bacteria to dry. They've now dried. So that loop needs sterilization. To sterilize it, you put it in the hottest part of the flame, heat it to red heat and then place it on the side and then you heat fix the slide by passing it once, twice, three times through the hot part of the bacteria. Uh, 